uh, to take his, uh, for us to take his name with all seriousness and gratitude, and most importantly, because we are head over heels in love with Jesus. And I got to tell you that the, if there's a if there's a bump in your relationship with God, the best thing to do is to start focusing on how much you love Jesus and why you love Jesus. Because let me tell you, you get close to the Son and you fall in love with the Son, and the Father says, "Ah, oh, here's the bride, here's the bride for my groom," and He's dressed her beautifully. You see. And that's what we need God to say. So there's never a time that we can't wake up and realize that we've treated God frivolously like a, a crush or, you know, like a kid loves a puppy. You know? Daddy, daddy, I want a puppy. Daddy, daddy, I want a puppy. Oh, I love the puppy. I love the puppy. I don't think you're ready for a puppy, but I am ready for the puppy. I'll clean up after the puppy, and I'll feed the puppy, and I'll take care of the puppy, and I'll bath the puppy, and I'll... All right, well, let's see how it goes. And then what happens? That is puppy love. That's a crush, okay? Love, real love, is what the Father's looking for. You know? And love is work, right? Love isn't a feeling. It's not an emotion. Love is all these things that are, you know, every day you wake up and you go, I make a decision to speak kind words and to uplift my, my spouse and to tell her that, I, that she is awesome and whatever she's good at, I'm going to build that up. And whatever she's bad at, I'm going to lift her up and, and whatever's going on, that's love. It's work, 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 work. But it's always the most rewarding work, isn't it? And that's the same thing with God. He just pours himself into us uh, when, when we come to him Humbly, humbly. So, we've got the facts here. Um, and the, the, I know the thoughts I think toward you thing. I want to finish this, this verse because Jeremiah, I mean, God plays it out so well. He explains it. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me. And go and pray to me, and I will listen to you, and I will, and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from your captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says the Lord. Remember, because that's what sin does, drives the darkness away, says the Lord. And I will bring you to the place for which I cause you to be carried away captive. But he says, what is he going? All our heart. Just give me, I want all your heart. Give me all your heart. So with all your heart, that's what God wants. That's what we can give him. We show him what he means to us, and we, when we take his name, when we take his name, you get what I'm saying? We show him what he means to us when we take his name. I, I pronounce you Mr. And, you know, Mr. and Mrs. The Lord God, right? Because we're the bride of Christ. We take his name. We enter into blood covenant relationship with him. And we represent him to the world and love and with a love and a respect and obedience and truth. And when we show the world that we have no God but him, because he's good and we're head over heels in love with Jesus, God finds us, these are the promises here, God finds us, as just said this in German, gathers us, heals us, restores us, and brings us to him. You know? Just no better news than that. And Jesus did all of that. He did all of the things that we couldn't do. Because God wants us. So, does that help with the second commandment? It's a little more than don't misuse the name of God. Not that that's not true. But it, there's, this is the binding of the Holy Spirit that brings us one with God in Jesus Christ. So let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, just thank you uh, again that you've done for us what we couldn't do for ourselves and that you love us profoundly, far beyond what we can imagine. And Lord, I, I ask God for every day for the opportunity to prove to you that I love you, that all of us would look for the opportunity to prove to you and to the world that we love you, Lord. 
that, that, that you are the most important person relationship in our lives. And we love it, Lord, when you show up, that you care that much about us and so, so much more. God, give us strength. We believe, help our unbelief. We're weak, you make us strong. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, we're, yeah, would you get them? Yeah.